Hello everybody, welcome to another TDUmods.com tutorial. This one will be explaining how to extract skins that you've made within the game's own paint shop so you can share them with other people. Now I'll be using Photoshop for this tutorial so if you don't already have it you'll need to get the DDS import plugin from the NVIDIA website um, that will allow you to import DDS's into Photoshop just like any other file. Right, we'll need three main files for this to work. We'll need a template of the car that you intend to extract. In this case, I'll be using the Pagani Zonda Roadster F. You can download all the car templates from tdumods.com. You'll also need a copy of the skin in DDS format, and you'll also need a copy of the skin in PNG format. I'll explain why later. Right, so we'll start text mod, always in offline mode if you're doing any modding. Tell it which game. And as I says, we'll be using both DDS and PNG, seeing that it's in DDS already, we might as well go with that. So it's just a case of run the game. Now, I always prefer to have my car already in the garage before I start going into login mode, just purely because it means you don't have as many textures loaded into memory, so it makes it a bit easier, a bit easier to try and find the file that you're looking for. So, I'll start up straight in the paint shop. Okay, so that's the skin that I'll be extracting. So it will scan memory. Oh, that was it. So F10 to export. And then we can quit the game. And then we'll switch text mod over to PNG format and we'll restart the game again. Okay, scan memory again for the texture. Press F to end export again and then we can quit and we're done with test drive now okay we can now close text mod and we can close universal launcher we also no longer need the log file from text mod now we just need to load all three files into photoshop now we have the template, we have the DDS, and we have the PNG. Now, as you might have noticed there, the DDS and the PNG look a bit different. The PNG's colours are correct, whereas the DDS colours seem a little bit washed out. In fact, in this case, the red looks almost pink. So, that's why we need the PNG. But the PNG doesn't have an alpha channel, so, but the DDS does, so that's why we need both files. Um, we'll be copying both of these images to the template. The reason we do this is the template doesn't fill the entire screen. The corners are empty, which means if we tried copying that to one of the other images, it will try and centralize the image rather than leaving it in exactly the same position, so it won't match anymore. So that's why we do that. So we'll copy 
the PNG will copy the whole image so it's control A for all control C for copy switch to the template and control V to paste we can close the PNG then if we like then switch to the DDS and we want to change to channels now scroll down to alpha 1 and select it and that's the alpha channel so we'll copy all control A control C switch back to layers to the template layer and click paste we can also close the DDS now so we have the DDS alpha channel the PNG color channel and the template we'll be using the template and the alpha channel to remove the different parts of the PNG the template we'll use to remove everything outside of the car so that's these fuzzy bits around the edges and we'll use the alpha channel to remove all the unused parts within the car which is things like these horrible dirty colors so we'll start off on the alpha channel and we'll do select color range and click on the black and then OK we can then hide that and change to the PNG layer and press delete that removes everything from within the car's limits um, only on the parts where we wasn't placing stickers we'll then switch to the template layer select color range click on the black again select OK and then we want to invert the selection so we're only going to remove the background so that's control shift and I then we'll switch back to the PNG layer and press delete so when we hide everything other than the PNG we're left with just the parts of the car that we actually stickered in this case I only used red and white stickers the blue parts of my car was its natural paint colour so we can now delete both of those layers we no longer need them and it leaves you with just the PNG colour layer so you save that as a PNG in this case I'll call it Jack because it's a Union Jack flag and save that's it